Hey everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial where I'm going to be talking about a practice problem in JavaScript where basically the problem is we want to loop through this string of letters and we want to filter out any vowels. So if you know what a vowel is, it's basically A, E, I, O, and U. And after we run this algorithm, what this should print out is basically the string with no vowels. So a, E, I, O. So the I's would be taken out, the O would be gone, the O would be gone here, the E would be gone, O and E would be gone, E would be gone, A would be gone, and that. So basically, the string should end up looking like this because we're just filtering out or removing all of the vowels inside of the string. So the question is, how do you do that in JavaScript? And we will look at that right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this as expected and comment that out. And this is kind of what we should expect, hopefully, assuming I didn't forget a vowel. But anyway, the original string, so I'm just going to set this to a constant up here um, called string to check. And the algorithm is going to be pretty straightforward. What we need to do is, first of all, have a collection or a list to keep track of what vowels are, right? So I think it would make sense to have an array with all the vowels in it. So we can easily check, is T a vowel? Is H a vowel? Is E a vowel? So I'm going to say const vowels is equal to A, E, I, O, and U. In fact, I totally forget that U is a vowel here, so oops. But anyway, this will kind of make it easier to be able to check if a character is a vowel or not. Um, so we have that array set up. The second step is we need to loop through that string, kind of like I did with the example. I went through character by character. And how you can do that in JavaScript is just do a for loop and say let care of, and then you could do like your full string. And care will basically be the character one by one as we loop over the string. And I'll make this const. So we have the vowels, we're looping through the character one by one. Um, now it makes sense that we need to check if the character is a vowel, then we need to remove it. Or the other approach is, if the character is not a vowel, we could append it into a string that we're building up. So I rather do the second approach I just said, so append it onto a string that we're going to build up if it's not a vowel. So let's do some conditional logic here and say if vowels index of car is greater than negative one, and this is a helper function that you can do on arrays to basically check does this character exist inside this array. And I think with ES6 there's probably a contains helper function we can use, but I'm just going to stick to index of for right now. And basically if the index of the character exists in vowels, then we want to do something. But like I said, we want to do the opposite. So we want to check that it's not a vowel. So if it is negative one, then we need to append it to a string that we're going to build up. So I'm going to say up here, let's just create a string called new string and set it equal to an empty string here. So at this point, in the conditional logic, I'm going to say new string plus equals care. Let me re-explain that one more time just in case I was jumping around. We declared a new variable called new string, which is equal to an empty string. Then we loop through every character of this original string here. And for every character we find that is not a vowel, we append it to the new string. And then finally down here, we could probably just print out our new string. So if all was implemented correctly, we should be able to run this in our debugger. So in VS Code, if you click this bug icon, you can open up your debugger and kind of step through your code line by line. So that is what we're going to do here. So let's just step through until we get to the for loop here. And I'm going to put a watch on new string just so we can see that it's building up correctly. And let's step through line by line and see what's happening. So the first time we step through the loop, 
I'll add a wash to this too. We are at character T, and then we check is T a vowel? And it turns out that it is not a vowel. So we go into the actual like logic here and we just append T to new string. So notice that when I click step over, new string is equal to T here. And then we go back and we check the next character. So now we're at H. H is not a vowel. We append it. Now we're at E. E actually is a vowel. So we're going to skip over that if statement and just go to the next character. So I'm just going to step through this. And these should all work. We're seeing T, H, Q, C, K. And it looks like it's starting to actually build up the correct string here. So what I'm going to do is just put a break point here, press play, the skip, and I'll expand this and just look at what our final result is. And we get this. No, don't know how to read that out loud. So notice that it doesn't have any vowels in it. So that means we successfully filtered out all the vowels in that string and we've solved the problem, right? Cool, so that pretty much wraps up this video with this problem. Again, if you have any suggestions for future videos or little example problems I can solve, feel free to put in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. All right, thank you so much for watching.